daffodils. It means that spring is coming. And I don't just mean literally in the seasons, I mean metaphorically in my life. <laughs> I don't need to cut these. The past few weeks have been pretty goddamn awful over here for this girl. Are they still too long? No, I think they're okay. I obviously have not posted a vlog in three weeks now, which makes me sad and has made a lot of you very angry. <laughs> but trust me, my friends, I really, really, really wish that I could have done. I really do. So this vlog is three weeks worth of footage. Absolute freaking mod podge of stuff. I'm not gonna go on about it now because I complain about it enough later on in the video. I get my wisdom tooth removed. Following from two weeks of excruciating pain from an infection that spread into my jaw. It was a, it was honestly awful. <laughs> I'm on the other side of it now. I'm still healing up. It's two weeks now, two weeks tomorrow since I got my tooth removed and I'm still sore. I'm still taking painkillers every day. It is absolutely nothing compared to the state I was in the last month. It's literally been like a month long ordeal at this point. I was bedridden for a good six days. I couldn't eat for nearly a week. Like it was a, it was a whole thing. No one wants to see that, okay? Well, <laughs> I say that. I was vlogging. I was vlogging bits and pieces here and there. So this vlog is gonna be like a little montage of bits. I was initially gonna make the majority of it, the actual clips from the past few weeks, but I've started editing it and it is so depressing. I think I'm just gonna put in the key pointers. So I'm gonna be here linking together the clips like your little narrator. So I'm gonna go grab my laptop and I'll chat you through what's been going on and insert some clips, okay? One sec. I feel like I'm opening a storybook. Our story begins. But seriously, our story begins. We had a launch for Project Me. We had our Valentine's Day launch, which launched at the end of January. Those are the first clips I have from January still. We're nearly a month away now. Oh my God, that's absolutely awful. It's been so long. We had the launch and it was incredibly stressful. Everything about this launch has kind of gone wrong. Even on the day, the website wouldn't allow me to remove the password, which was so stressful because it was like two minutes past the live day. Everyone was waiting on the website and they couldn't get access to it. And it was just, it was so stressful. Here are the clips from launch day. Good morning, we just posted the new collection. That was the most stressful launch I've had yet. We've got 71 people on the website. We've been live for technically one minute. Two people checking out, 10 active carts. Oh my God, that was so stressful. I hope I've not forgotten anything. I need to post on the Project Me Instagram. Could you film me? <laughs> Thanks. First order! Oh my goodness, four items. Thanks Adam, we're calm. Oh my God, we're so calm. Look at us, thank you. <sighs> okay, okay. Ah, thank you. I feel sick. Tilt it down slightly. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. <laughs> Is this exciting to watch? Grilling. I can go and make you coffee and give you the muffin of celebration. The muffin of celebration. Mm hmm. Certainly a lot of yes. kachings. Lots of kachings. All right, let me have a look. How are we doing? Bringing those positive vibes. Keep doing what you're doing. Love you, Emma. <laughs> Coffee. Mm. Yes, please. Except I care very much, so thank you. A celebratory muffin. Thanks, guys. And then two days after the launch was when my tooth flared up. This is a little clip of the state of me for multiple, multiple days. It's the most pathetic you'll ever see me. Enjoy this. I'm gonna say that this is the worst pain I have ever been in. This is, like, it's unbearably painful. I have been on the sofa all day, in and out of states of crying. I can't do anything. I've been trying to sleep for four hours. I can't get comfortable. I can't fall asleep. <sighs> I just need them gone because this is actually excruciating. Like, it's so painful. All the way down here, all the way down my neck. That is as far as I can open my mouth. I know this is probably a really depressing clip. That's why there was no vlog this week. Oh my god. Anyway, it hurts to talk, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and get these fuckers taken out. 
I can't, I actually can't live like this. I can't have this every month. It's every time I'm due on my period. And apparently it's when you eat, your estrogen's high. It's a growth hormone and it makes your teeth grow. And because my teeth are growing into my, into my gum, every month it grows further into my gum and then gets infected. It's like a monthly occurrence. <sighs> I actually can't go through this again. It's the worst thing ever. Enjoy this week's vlog. I hope I'm feeling better. Love you, bye. Good morning from little miss chipmunk cheek i think i probably got like one hour sleep last night one of the worst nights i've had in a very long time but i rang my dentist at eight o'clock when they opened this morning and i've managed to get myself an emergency appointment for 12 so i just need to make it through the next few hours and hopefully they'll give me antibiotics i'm gonna really push to see if they can book me in to take these out because <laughs> it's literally like it's ruining my life <laughs> Oh, oh, I look absolutely knackered. Super fun. That poor girl, I was not well. But obviously I went to the dentist and I was like, please just take out the fucking tooth. Like it is ridiculous at this point. And I actually had a different dentist and he was like, this should have been taken out the first time it got infected. He was like, this is so impacted. This isn't fair that they made you keep it. And I was like, right <laughs> why has no one been listening to me it has been painful every single day he refers me to get it removed and he gave me a prescription to go and get my antibiotics which i took for five days in between finishing my antibiotics and then me getting the tooth removed to try and get my house in order so i'll insert those clips <laughs> Today is Monday. I'm starting to get mobility back in my jaw. I'm able to talk a little bit more comfortably now. And I also have to go to London tomorrow for work. So I kind of need to get my shit together today. Welcome to me trying to put my life back together. The house is a mess, like an absolute mess mess and it's just been making me feel worse and worse but i've just not felt well enough to do anything about it i need to go to the studio today i am really behind on orders from the valentine's day launch because the day after the launch was when my tooth started flaring up i need to do loads of laundry clean my kitchen i will need to change my bedding and just make myself feel a bit better have an everything shower um, because I need to look lovely for the shoot I'm on tomorrow. Welcome back. That's all I'm going to talk about my wisdom tooth um, today. When it comes to closer to the surgery, I'm not going to lie. I'll probably talk about it a little bit more because I'm really scared. <laughs> it's a new week. We're leaving. We're leaving that. I watched seven seasons of Taskmaster over the past five days. <laughs> That's all I've been watching. It's been truly bleak. I won't lie to you. <laughs> that I'm descaling my kettle. Just, you know, doing grown up things. Also, just came on my period. Can a girl not catch a damn break? <laughs> oh, how I love being a woman. My sink's leaking. I remember when I cleaned this out the other day? Well, everything's out again. Because this was full of water. I think there's a hole in one of these pipes. Obviously we rang Daddy Paul. Coolie J is on it. I sent him a video of the uh, of the suspect and I'm awaiting his reply. <laughs> over it, I'm over it. Hello. This is constant dripping just when I turn it on so it must be coming from somewhere else. Of course my sink had to break the day that I felt like everything was starting to fall into place. <laughs> But alas, no, no. And then I had a job with L'Oreal Professional. The timing honestly wasn't amazing. Dosing myself up on painkillers the entire way through the day and it was quite a long day. Um, by the end of it, I was not feeling hot. I went and got my hair done. 
as you can see, my hair is much shorter. So I will insert the clips here. Good morning. We're back at work. I'm going up to London. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Look at my skin. What is going on? I just feel like I'm broken at the moment. I've got like a rash and tiny little breakouts, like loads of tiny little breakouts. And I'm on my period and I'm in pain. <sighs> I do just feel like I'm kind of falling apart. And generally I'm a pretty healthy person, so I'm concerned as to what's going on right now. I'm not gonna let the fact that I feel awful distract from the exciting day that I have ahead of me. Today I am getting my hair done for a job, which is so exciting. I'm working with L'Oreal. L'Oreal Professional. My regular hairstylist is doing my hair. So for me, this is amazing. I've had my hair colored like three times for work before, which is all fine and dandy, but it's nice to have your usual hairstylist. So I'm getting my hair transformed today. We're staying in the red family because I absolutely love the red. I'm really excited and I'm gonna cut it. I don't know how short, but it needs a good cut. So it is currently quarter past six. I need to leave it like Eight. I need to start getting ready. My whole face is so itchy. I have to wear makeup today. I'm shooting. Putting on concealer feels really nice because this is cold. It's hot to the touch. What is going on? No, today's gonna be great. I'm gonna feel like a bad bitch walking out of the salon, even though I'm shooting with a swollen face, with a rash, bloating, just generally not feeling very good in my body right now. I'm still gonna feel amazing when I leave the salon. You mark my words. Here's my outfit of the day. I have had to book an Uber. The trains are like running once an hour and I'm not gonna get there in time. Yeah, no, this is good. And I might still be late. Hi guys, I have arrived at the salon at May 5 and my lovely regular Katie is doing my hair. I've decided to chop, go a bit darker, fun room and maybe a money piece. I'm honestly, you guys know me, I just put my, so if you can't hear me, the hair dries quite loud. But I normally just put my faith in Katie and then just see what she does. <laughs> She's great, I love her. I'm just gonna put some aura gel on to numb the pain. <laughs> We've just cleansed as much of the red out as we can and this is how much red is still left. But they're just mixing the colour now and I'm buzzing, buzzing. Two days after that, I went and got my tooth removed. It's a very big day. It's 7.45 and in half an hour, I'm getting my wisdom tooth taken out. Oh, I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm really scared, guys. Rob's gonna be here in like 10 minutes. I hate the dentist, but I've woken up with a banging headache. I don't know why. It's just not fortunate that I don't feel very well going into it. I'm gonna ask if I can listen to my music. I'm gonna take my headphones in and ask them. That might help, who bloody knows. Let's go be brave. Now, I did not film anything following the tooth removal because I won't lie, I had a really traumatic experience. I had multiple panic attacks before, during, and after the extraction. Like, I had a panic attack in the chair while it was happening. It was genuinely really horrible and i spoke to soph about it the other day i think it was because of how much adrenaline is in the numbing shots and i was already so anxious before going in like i'd already had a panic attack prior to going in i had so much adrenaline in my body that adding like multiple shots of it it sent me i was completely like out of my mind inconsolable sobbing rob bless him had to take me home and i was just lying like convulsing on the sofa for like two hours it was awful i don't want to scare you if you're getting your tooth removed it wasn't anything to do with the removal of the tooth the actual extraction i didn't feel a thing the injections really hurt i won't lie but the actual removal of the tooth i didn't feel a thing it's just the entire 
the whole situation just completely spun me. So I didn't vlog anything that day. I took this photo. <laughs> This is the only evidence I have from the day and I don't think I've ever looked worse. <laughs> My best friend Liz came round, she brought me some soup and had a chat with me. Me and Rob just watched The Hobbit and that was all we did. Past Emma will give you a little bit more detail about the experience. Today is Monday. On Saturday morning, I got my wisdom tooth out. They only took the one out, which was a bit annoying. I kind of wish they'd just done all of them at the same time. It's gone. I don't have to deal with it ever again. And I am so happy. Oh, I can't. I, if you've ever had ongoing wisdom tooth problems, like it is genuinely, it is no freaking joke. It is painful. They showed me the tooth and she was like, this is a big tooth. Because it's been two years that I've been trying to get it taken out, it was basically grown completely. The actual tooth itself was like the size of my thumbnail, literally the tip of the iceberg. The bottom part was so big. It blew my mind. I had no idea it was that big. <laughs> What's happening on this day? After getting my tooth taken out, I took like four or five days off of anything, watched loads of Taskmaster. And then I had a day where I started to feel a little bit more human. I got dressed. I got properly dressed. I've done my makeup. I've done my hair. To be honest, I did do my hair for a campaign. I just shot my first job since, oh, are we zoomed in? Since Toothgate. All of this I got off of Vinted. Been on a Vinted hype recently. So we all know these jeans. These are the coveted Damson Madden jeans that I managed to swipe off of Vinted. They're a little bit big, but honestly, I don't mind. They're nice and cozy. They're a size 12. I love the fit. Like they're, they're kind of like a barrel leg. Little Hollister plain white long sleeve top and then this cardigan was another steal this was actually from hobbs but again off of vinted i think i paid i paid less than 20 for it so an outfit full of bargains it's comfortable this is the kind of outfit that i would happily work from home and be cozy in but i know it looks presentable honestly this is the first day that i felt like human enough to like get dressed and feel somewhat okay <laughs> which is a nice feeling i have missed I've missed existing properly like a real human being. I do, however, need to take some painkillers because I'm starting to get quite sore. So before this gets too bad, I need to drug up now because I have stuff I need to do today. Hello. I am watching Taskmaster. I have had a very nice, productive day. I felt good mentally today, like slowly getting back into it. Obviously I started the vlog again. I've had a couple of people asking me where the vlog is. I was genuinely tempted to go to the gym today, but my stomach is not okay. I don't trust leaving the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm not well. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow we're back in the gym. That would be really, really, really nice. I miss it so much i cannot even tell you and on wednesday is valentine's day and noah khan day and i'm so 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 happy that i feel all right enough to go to noah khan i was so afraid that i wouldn't be able to go so i'm really really happy and hopefully i'm seeing soph on friday i need to go to london on sunday i have a very exciting campaign happening at the moment with a brand it's like a big campaign for me it's like three months long. I have quite a lot of work to do over the next two months. It's basically running up to just before I leave to go to the Philippines. I'm working with this brand. Here's a hint. I have loads of content to make for them over the next month or so. And my first deadline for them is actually tomorrow. So I need to get a nice early night tonight because I need to film that tomorrow morning before I go to the office to work with Scar. So it's seven now, honestly. I'm gonna try and be in bed by like 9 p.m. every day this week because that's what I've been doing recently. I'm gonna finish this episode of Taskmaster and then I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Love you, bye. And then finally, I started to feel just generally better within myself and it got to Valentine's Day. We went to see Noah Khan and he was absolutely amazing. Me and Rob went and it was so much fun. It was just the perfect gig for Valentine's Day and we just had such a lovely, lovely time. Hi boo, happy Valentine's Day. I am getting ready to go and see Noah Khan with Rob. I'm so, so, so excited. This has been in the diary for months now. We have not had a date night in a long, long, long time. So I'm really excited to have 
some Emma and Rob time and just have a really fun night together. I have to leave in like an hour. Oh God, my hair is caught. So I don't have much time, but I'm not gonna do anything crazy. We have quite the transformation to undergo. My favorite thing in the world is seeing live music. So the fact that I'm going to a gig on Valentine's Day makes me very happy. I'm not gonna chat through me getting ready. I'm gonna play some Noah Khan. Enjoy this time lapse. Play Noah Khan on Spotify. This is Noah Khan from Emma Johnson's Spotify. I'll go home till my friends come home for Christmas and I'll... following me on Instagram I have been talking about I'm doing a little fitness challenge at the moment because I'm going to the Philippines in now seven weeks I want to get back on my fitness game obviously I have been forced out of it for a month now but now I'm getting back into the swing I'm so excited about it basically my goal for this week that I've just had has been just trying to get back into my routine going to the gym eating three meals a day i had loads of orders to pack from the valentine's day launch and i also went and hung out with soph so i'm gonna show you this day which was a fun day morning i'm heading to the studio and then i'm hanging out with soph today i'm seeing soph later which will be really really lovely i've not seen her in so long so i'm really excited to see her guys we're on 1900 orders mental what a beautiful day you're on the wonk come on it is such a beautiful day spring is springing it's on its way i can feel it deep in my bones we have got a little bit of damage control to do let's do it let's do it I want to show you what Rob got me for Valentine's Day. We weren't doing presents, so I actually didn't get him anything, which is normally not the way that goes. <laughs> but this year I was like, no, we're not doing presents. We're gonna go see Noah Khan on Valentine's Day. That's kind of our gift to each other. Like, no stress. I arrived at his house, and we gave each other cards, and then he gave me this. It's a Court of Thorn and Roses. Sarah J. Emmas. I never know how to say her name. This has been on my top 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 to be read i have wanted to read this for ages 
And I don't know whether I've ever told Rob that. I feel like I must have done, but Rob is currently reading a book from one of her other series and they like, the worlds kind of collide and there's crossover between the two stories. So um, he's obsessed with it. So this is a little bit smutty because smutty fantasy is my genre of choice. It's the only way you're gonna get me reading is if it's basically literary porn. And the reviews are sizzles with sexual tension. Sarah J. Emmas Mass is a master of fantasy, a dazzling world, complex characters and sizzling romance. Everyone is reading this. I want to read it and I'm going to read it and I'll let you guys know what I think. I'm very, very, very excited to read it. I think I'm gonna start it tonight. So thanks Rob. It's like you read my mind. I just, I don't think I told him that I wanted to read this and he bought it for me. Good boy. So yeah, if you guys have read this, let me know what you think. I have a feeling that most of you loved it because it's all over the place at the moment. And yeah, I'll let you know what I think. Poo bag haul. <laughs> <laughs> Glamour. <laughs> what are we getting for you? You little poop machine? Look at your little ears. <laughs> you funny thing. Lovely pinks. Pets at Home used to be my favourite place to come because um, I've always begged my parents to get me pets but now I'm the grown up I can get whatever I- Oh! Meryl what happened? <laughs> She's stretched. <laughs> Let me do it for you. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the fish. Have you got everything you need? What a fun little excursion. Hi guys. I really want to get another fish tank. $3.99 for a single tail. That's Where are the neons? Where are the what? The neon tetras, they're my favorite. I don't think they have them. Oh, they only have black neon tetras. These ones. I like them because I like bright blue, but he's very pretty. Oh my God, look at this thing. Who is that, a yummy? Oh. Or a <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp. Thank you, shrimp. What are you, a giant American shrimp? Oh, these are the neon tetras. Oh, no. oh, a cardinal tetra. Different. Oh, these ones are my fave. I love them. <laughs> a wedding gift? Do I get you a tank of <laughs> puppy things? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> James, get ready. <laughs> you know what? He really wants fish. Does he? But we just don't want to have to clean the tank. Yeah, that is the Come worst on. part. It is the worst part. I think once I've done my travelling, Fish? Fish, then dog. Yeah, nice, good order. Yeah. Hi, oh, you're actually very sweet. I quite like rats. Yeah, I like them when they're not in my house. It's upside down. It's it's so little cool. mouth. Hey. Oh, red eyes. Yeah. Oh my God, you look like Flopsy. This was, looks like, oh my God, two loppies. Pinks, you're being so good. They're so cute. Friend! Oh, this is very sweet. Hello. You look like my old guinea pig humbug. Hello, honey. Hello, sweetie. Are you a lion's mate? Oh my god, you look like my old rabbit. You've got a, a lop eared lion mane. Where's she gone? <laughs> Gotta give a dog a bone, you know. Good. Here you go. Very gentle. Gentle girly. Sophie's just ordering the food and I'm on. Oh, she returned. She's back. She was so good. Good girl. <laughs> Hello. Reunited. It's been a whole three minutes, Pings. <laughs> Left okay. with horrible Auntie Emma, my so, god. You're too. causing a scene, bruh. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. They look unreal. <laughs> happy, happy, dance. happy, happy. And that is where I've been for the past month almost. That has been my life. A lot of sitting around, a lot of feeling sorry for myself. And honestly, just getting really frustrated that I wasn't able to do things when I wanted to do them. But I'm not very good at letting myself heal. I was genuinely forced into it. Like I really could not do 
anything. I will be starting a brand new vlog. I might even start it today, to be honest. I'm gonna edit this vlog now and kind of finally end this video because honestly, I have been sitting on all of this footage slowly like trying to edit it and just being like this is shit <laughs> so i just want to get this video done and i want to get it out into the world i want to get back to my usual schedule i want to get a midweek video up for you guys i just want to start working again it has made me feel excited about work and i've obviously got my nike campaign at the moment which is really exciting on tuesday i'm doing makeup work which i've not done in a very long time i'm packing my kit and going to do makeup with my kit on tuesday and i've not done that in years i don't know if i'll be able to vlog anything though because obviously you know i don't know these people you might be able to get a little behind the scenes of me doing my thing i don't know but yeah that is where i've been thank you for being so patient with me i do really appreciate it you guys know what i'm like i've been my biggest critic i've been beating myself up about not posting and trying to kind of be nice to myself about it but it it's been hard so thank you so much for all of your well wishes and your love and I'm back and I'm feeling 150 times better. Like I can't even explain how much better I feel. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, this is a weird one for you to be joining us on, but please subscribe. I promise the videos are normally a little bit more structured. <laughs> Actually, this felt quite structured and narrated the whole thing. Have the best day, you guys. I will see you next week for normal videos, hopefully a midweeker and obviously the vlog. Mwah. I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.